what's up my name is tony and i'm the co-founder of the hire company in today's video we'll be making room sprays so if you're interested in that please stay tuned so just a quick disclaimer if i sound stuffy or snuffy it's because i'm getting over a cold so just ignore that but i just want to show y'all really quick how i'm gonna go about making my room sprays that will be available soon on our website um, I'm not sure of the launch date, but whenever I do decide, if I decide before I post this video, I'll just put it, put it up on the screen. Basically, we could get into like what is a room and a linen spray. It's basically like a more, to me, how I perceive it, it's like it's more of a concentrated like air freshener. And like while I was testing, I figured out that it works better. Like if you spray it along, say like your bed or like your sofa, and the scent will obviously last longer. So while watching other room spray videos, like the concoction and stuff, it was just too many products for me. That's what really made me not want to do it in the first place. It just seemed like too many products for me to have to go out there and buy. But one day I was on um, a Candace Supply website. I think it was Wooden Wick Co. when I was buying some other stuff. And I seen that it had a base. So it made me look up like other room spray bases. Because you know Wooden Wick Co. is it's more of a luxury brand. So I went to look for a cheaper option. And the cheaper option for me was... Um, was the flaming candle and I'll put their prices up on the screen just to show you the comparison in prices so this is what I have this is my room spray base this is the eight pound base so from what I've looked up and researched based off of the ingredients they the base like the base is all the ingredients you see other people mixing their videos just in one so it's less work for you to do also my spray bottles i got these from the wooden wick co when they were having like a 20 percent off sale i think i just said well y'all have a shopping problem so i was just looking for something to buy and i seen that these were on sale plus the sale so i was just like whatever i'm gonna just buy a bunch of them another thing you're gonna need for like to make your room sprays in general are whatever fragrance oil you want to add to it and you're gonna need a couple cups so i use this to pour it and this i put the base in it because it's still so full and it only takes a little bit of product and then of course you're gonna need a mixing utensil i just use a plastic fork one thing i do like about room sprays or room slash linen sprays are it takes a lot less fragrance oil but it, i don't know like i like it but then I want to add more <laughs> so it just depends on your preference but for me I'm using a max load which is 5% so 5% and these comfortably hold 3.5 oh sorry these comfortably hold 3.4 ounces and again these are from the wooden wick cup so sorry let me back up the last thing you do need is a scale so you're gonna need a scale to measure everything out so i'm doing three sets to start the launch with i know i usually do four but i'm gonna do three just as a signature launch nothing to do with seasons or anything it's just gonna be like a signature launch to start with okay so let's make these room sprays okay y'all so i already made these three off camera so i'm gonna show y'all how i do it First, I usually fill this up with the base, so that's what I'm about to do right now. And based off of my measurements, I'm just gonna round them up. So it's gonna be 274 grams of the base and then 15 grams of the fragrance oil. Okay, it's at 276. I'm just gonna leave it because I did spill a lot as you can see over here. I did spill a lot from the last one, so we're just gonna leave it. And then for the fragrance oil, we're gonna do 15 grams, and this is for three. Okay, y'all, and look at how little of uh, fragrance oil this is. This is what I mean by I just want to add more because it looks like too little. Now I'm just going to pour the fragrance oil in and stir. So 
So as you can see, it looked basically in its initial state, it looks exactly like what it is, like mixing oil with water. So it's an ingredient in here that helps this to like make them one basically. And in the beginning, you see how white it is. So as you keep stirring, it'll get like not so, not all the way clear, but it, it'll definitely get lighter. So if you have like lighter color jars or like you see like this, I mean, it's darker, so it does look clear in it. So you can, if, even if you use like a frosted white jar, it'll be fine. You could almost kind of see through to the black. And see y'all, it's not all white. Like it still has a little color. So this will be like in comparison to what all the way clear looks like. I hope you can see that. Like this is all the way clear. And this is like a little, like a drop of opaqueness. So if you were worried about like having white liquid, and I feel like, see, to me, this is clear, like, you could get away with see-through jars and stuff with this. That's what I love about this. And it could all just depend on the fragrance oil, but in my experience with the ones I use, this is how it turns out. So now that I've stirred, we could get to pouring. Oh, yeah, y'all, this is clear. I don't care what nobody said. This is definitely clear. But I feel like if you have, like, a darker fragrance oil, it'll be, like, a little tint to it. Okay, so this will be all for one. Now this is the worst part. Please, I wanted to film this video so it would not have arrived in time, but get those little baby funnels so that you don't spill all over. Okay, y'all, so this is what your finished product would look like. It is super easy to make these. It doesn't take as much fragrance oil. So if you're like a stickler for saving on fragrance oils, or if you just prefer not to waste oils, this is a perfect way to incorporate new, you know, different ways to add scent to your home, um, to your business. So this is it for this video, y'all. Two ingredients your oil and the base. And to me, it turns out pretty well. It sticks, like it lasts long once you spray on some linen or like your bed, your sofa, your curtains or whatever. It lasts really long to me. All right, y'all, so don't forget to watch the rest of our videos on our channel and I'll see y'all in the next one, bye.